Bo here, your favorite East Tennessean, here with another Creekside Wisdoms. I've been told that I have a bit of a focus issue and keeping on point is not necessarily my strongest suit. So what I've decided is that maybe some notes on my hands would be helpful in keeping my train of thought on its tracks. Without any further ado, here's today's topic. Everybody knows that dealing with critters out and about is a pain in the butt. Nobody's denying that. However, there is an important role that every insect plays in your local ecology. As I stand here and observe the natural happenings before my eyes, I realize that the bird flies in the sky to better see the bugs that it can eat also flying in the sky. And the bugs are preyed upon by the spiders as well. All I'm saying is that everything happens for a reason and everything exists on purpose. It's all very balanced. Now, I don't want to get too deep into the hippy-dippy stuff, so we'll keep it fairly conservative. Mosquitoes are a very important element of the ground-up ecology, no matter where you're talking in the world. Mosquitoes are found all over the world in places that have temperatures above 40 degrees or so. You know, I don't know, something like that. But you may be asking, Bo, why on earth are they so important? What could, what could they do that is so integral in the balance of all of nature? I'm gonna tell you right now, we talked about flowers before. Well, those, uh, those flowers that are not coniferous, hold on, I gotta think. Yep, not gymnosperms, but the angiosperms, the flowering flowers, you know, the traditional ones. Sorry, I'm rambling. They need pollinated, right? So some are wind pollinated. There's a gentle breeze flowing through the area. It's quite nice. You know, a lot of plants are wind pollinated, along with fungi as well. But there are some plants, flowers specifically, that are pollinated by insects. So bees is what we tend to think of. Quit it. He's got kookaburrs in his ears, so I'm just trying to get him out while we're doing this other thing as well. You know, two birds, one stone. Um, so, yeah, so they they pollinate a lot of different angiosperms, a lot of different flowers. Just, there he goes. Anyways, other than the pollination aspect, mosquitoes are a very good food source for other animals, both birds and spiders and some uh, reptiles and amphibians all eat mosquitoes because mosquitoes come from the water. So it makes sense to be able to have a bunch of reptiles and amphibians that are cold blooded and need the high specific heat of water to be able to cool themselves down. Let me grab some. Alright, I got my Jamba Juice, got my got my kombucha. So uh, right, so they're a pretty good food source for all these different types of animals. Being a food source there's a couple of advantages to eating mosquitoes as an animal versus just eating whatever else you find, herby stuff. The, the blood that it's in these mosquitoes, which is very protein rich, and uh, outside of that, it's got a lot of iron. I guess if you're into meat, then you're probably getting plenty of iron. I think that's where my notes run out, so mosquitoes are important. Definitely don't hesitate to kill them if they're about to bite you because they do spread diseases, and that is something to be prevented. Appreciate mosquitoes. Don't curse them. Don't wish they never existed. Don't question. I mean, question all the time. Question, question everything. But go and get your answer. Don't ruminate on the hatred towards that animal that you're questioning. I'm Bo, your favorite East Tennessean, and this is the third episode of Creekside Wisdoms. Hope you enjoyed.